and welcome now as we read about sectionalism. If there's anything you leave after reading this document that you remember, I want you to remember sectionalism is loyalty to your part of the country. That is very important. And this is a concept. Sectionalism is a concept developed over time that leads to the American Civil War. I know that we're nowhere close to the Civil War in our story yet, but we're already talking about the causes, and sectionalism is a huge part of it. It's the idea that my home state, the people I live close, they matter more to me than the rest of the country. Sectionalism. My section of the country matters most. So these three gentlemen right here, these are huge representatives of different parts of the country, and they play a large role when talking about sectionalism in leading us to the Civil War eventually. Daniel Webster of Massachusetts began as a member of the Federalist Party, and eventually after the Federalist Party collapsed, he moved to the Whig Party. Once, like I said, the Federalist Party collapsed. Uh, we've recently talked about how the Federalist Party collapsed, and this is the first time we're talking about who comes afterwards. That would be the Whig Party. After the Whig Party also collapses, he then moves to the Republican Party. He was one of the cotton Whigs. Uh, Cotton Whig is a faction of the Northern Whigs that believed in good relations with the South, but that was more important than being anti-slavery. In the concept of sectionalism, he is the primary representative of the North. So Daniel Webster, he's the, he's the North. Henry Clay of Kentucky helped found both the National Republican Party and the Whig Party. Abraham Lincoln is remembered as being the founder of the Republican Party, but his mentor, in a lot of cases, was Henry Clay. A lot of what Abraham Lincoln came to say, these are my beliefs, he got from Henry Clay. Yeah. Henry Clay helped in the nullification crisis, and he helped with the Compromise of 1850. These are two major things that we are going to be talking about in times to come, and they deal with sectionalism. For his role in calming sectional crisis, he earned the nickname the Great Compromiser. Henry Clay, the Great Compromiser. Abraham Lincoln deeply respected him, calling him his beau ideal of a statesman. Oh, the beautiful ideal of a statesman. Uh, this, this is what Abraham Lincoln said at his eulogy when Henry Clay had passed away. In the concept of sectionalism, he is the primary representative of the West. Daniel Webster, the North. Henry Clay, the West, and John C. Calhoun of South Carolina. He served as the seventh vice president of the United States from 1825 to 1832. He is remembered for strongly defending slavery and for the advancement of the concept of minority rights in politics. Doing so in order to protect the interests of the South when it was outnumbered by the Northerners. In the concept of sectionalism, he is the primary representative of the South. Daniel Webster of the North, Henry Clay of the West, and John C. Calhoun, John C. Calhoun, excuse me, of the South. So sectionalism, what is it? Sectionalism is loyalty to the interests of your own region rather than the interest of the whole nation. You have the North, the West, and the South. And these are very nebulous concepts, but there are this is a big reason why we go to civil wars. Hopefully you're learning and hopefully you're having a good time.